it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today guys, I have got for you a revolution haul. So yes, I've got another box full of revolution goodies to go through with you guys. Yoki. So inside our revolution box, we have a lovely kind of, you are the revolution sign behind. And it looks like they give me a nice little um, leaflet, which is really nice. So it tells me kind of what they've put in my basket and then there's a little bit about a couple of products in there. So I've picked up an array of various things. There's some old favorites and some new goodies. So I'm just gonna show you what I've got and let you know what I paid and things and we'll just have a nice little chat and run through the things in my box. Okay, so we're just gonna start with one of my all time faves. You all know about this. It is their Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I absolutely love it. I did pick some up last month in a haul, which I haven't actually opened yet because the sun has been out. So I've gone back to my more summer kind of color. I've gone for the shade of F5, which is what I've been using currently, but I'm about to run out, so I desperately need this. The F4 is gonna have to wait, although the weather is looking a little bit more gray and miserable today, so that might need to come out soon. Um, but while I've been looking a little bit more tanned, you probably can't see in all the bright lights, but there's definitely there, there's a lot more freckles. Um, so this one's perfect. So this costs nine pounds and 99 pence. They usually last me about a month and a half, depending on how much makeup I'm putting on. I'm not putting on an awful lot of them in it, to be honest, so they are lasting a bit longer because I'm not wearing makeup every single day. But this is one I really like. I find it long wearing. Do you know what? I'm not gonna bore you because I talk about this so often. I'm sorry. Okay, then all the very similar vein, I picked up some foundation. I'm uh, sorry, some concealer. Oh my goodness. So this is the Conceal and Define Infinite one. I've got this in the XL version. I tried this um, last a couple of months ago. Um, I didn't realize it was a bigger one. I only got the small version and I really, really was quite impressed with it. Um, the only thing I would say is that I would love it if they also did the foundation version because I find that this wears longer than the foundation. I mean, the foundation's one of the longest wearing I've tried, but generally this lasts longer. So it would be nice if they could do a foundation version also, but for a concealer, this is fab. So I also picked this one up in a C5. And like I say, I got the large version of this, the XL, I don't know how they define that. Um, but this one costs nine pounds. Um, it's a couple of pounds more expensive than the concealer and defined concealer, but I find it does last longer. So you don't actually need as much. Okay, so the next thing I picked up, it is brand new. It is the Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon. I got this in the shade White Wedding. Um, they had lots of shades, it was hard just to pick one, but I really wanted to try them. I thought that they looked a little bit like the Maybelline ones, which I absolutely love. I actually have one of those on my lips at the moment. I really like those. So I wanted to try one from Revolution because you know me, I love Revolution and everything they do I found fabulous. So I wanted to try one of these. I didn't want to pick up more colors because I didn't know how much I was going to like them. I mean, chances are I probably will. But while I was doing this haul, I picked up one to try and this costs five pounds, which makes it a little bit cheaper than the Maybelline ones. So if it is good, perfect. Okay, and the next and possibly the last makeup related item that I picked, I picked up another bottle of this stuff. I absolutely love this. This is the Revolution Matte Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. It's also down sometimes as the Pro Fix one. They're perfect. I find that this genuinely does make my makeup last longer. It helps my oils stay under control and stuff. And if there's days I forget to put this on, there's a big difference, let me tell you that. I think it's good. I think it's better than some of the more expensive kind of higher end brands. I genuinely really, really like this one and this costs five pounds and 99 pence. So you can't really complain with that. Okay, next I think I've got some things from the Revolution skincare range. Ah, okay, this one's not technically, I think this one's still Revolution. This is something brand new that they brought out and I thought, ooh, that sounds interesting, especially with the way of the world at the moment. This is their multi-use antibacterial hand cleansing spray um, and it's aloe vera, no water required. It's a bit like hand sanitizer type of a thing. Um, so it's multi-usage. I think I've seen that you can actually spray this on your phones and things and it's quite safe. Um, I'll have to do a bit more research into that before I attempt anything like that. But I just thought, obviously, everything in the world's a little bit bonkers at the minute so something like this is kind of perfect so it's um, a high strength 70 percent alcohol spray it's aloe vera so it's going to be a little bit kinder um and it costs six pounds 
Just something to keep you safe for six pounds, I think. Can't go wrong. There's a nice mist there. Smells a little bit alcoholy, but obviously it is made with alcohol, but it doesn't, it's not one of the strongest I've smelled and it's dried in really quickly. So that actually could be a winner. Like I say, it's a multi-use thing. The way the world is at the minute, any antibacterial stuff is very useful. So I just thought I'd pick that up. It was a newbie. I've lost the lid already. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a new thing. I thought I'd pick it up and like I say, it'll be handy. handy. Right, so I picked up this Soothing Overnight Face Mask for Angry Skin. So it says, catch disease, not breakouts. Um, I've had a couple of breakouts recently. It's actually doing a bit better at the minute. I don't know if I was just a bit run down and I had some breakouts along my forehead and then the chin and things. Chins tend to be hormonal. Um, it could be a bit of stress, a bit of this, a bit of that, the way of the world. Um, but I thought, hey, revolution, might be able to help me out. So I picked up one of these. Um, it's an overnight mask, it's soothing. It's got in there, it's got cannabis sativa oil in there to soothe and nourish the skin. It's got magnolia bark extract from the magnolia flower, which is used in Korea to help soothe a blemish prone skin. Um, and it's got black cumin seed extract, which is known to have antibacterial properties. So like I said, it's starting to improve my skin at the minute, that's fine, but um, this is something that will come in handy. So basically it just says you apply this leave on mask at night after cleansing and you use it two or three times a week um, for best results. So that's something really nice to probably incorporate into my skincare routine. Because like I say at the minute, stress and things, there's been a couple of breakouts, but you know, I'm doing all right. So it comes in a little tub and here we get 50 mils. And ooh. Not a particular smell about it. I just wasn't expecting it to be bluish. <laughs> but no, I'll use that if anybody wants to know how I find it, let me know. And maybe I'll, if I don't do one here, I'll pop in an Instagram uh, post or something. I almost forgot to mention the price of this one. This one was eight pounds, but it's one of those things, if you use it two or three times a week, you're gonna get a decent amount of time to use this. I'm not phrasing that right, am I? You're gonna get a decent amount of uses out of this for eight pounds. <laughs> Okay then, I went a little bit crazy with my last two items. I bought some things from the um, I Heart Revolution hair range. Okay, firstly, I've got this one and it is the Rainbow Tones Colour and Extra Body Conditioning in One. It, it is a hair colour in pink cloud and it lasts eight to 12 washes. I dyed my hair a few months back on my birthday. A um, little bit crazy, went a little bit blue. I've done pink before and I Thoroughly enjoyed it and I thought, you know what, why not? While I was there, saw them, thought, hey, I'm going to give me a go of this. So <laughs> this one is supposed to make your hair pink and it costs £6. Um, it lasts 8 to 12 washes. Um, the reviews I've seen on this were very varied. It's either the best thing in the world or it just doesn't work. But a lot of the people who said it didn't work were on darker hair tones and obviously mine's pretty light. So I think we'll do okay. But of a similar vein, I did also pick up another one. I picked up one of their rainbow shots. Now these ones don't last as long, but I thought I could maybe even try with this one and then move on to this one if I like it. So this one is in Pink Universe and this one lasts one to three washes and this one, this one costs three pounds. So again, it's another pink one. I genuinely really enjoyed it when I had my pink hair. And uh, recently when I only did it, the bluey color that went a little lilac-y, I really enjoyed that. So I thought, something a little bit different. Maybe we'll try pink this time. Not sure when I'll do it or if I'll do it or what's what, but um, yeah, I did thoroughly enjoy my pink hair. So who knows, watch out in this future, there might be pink hair on this channel. Okay guys, so that was actually my entire order this time. There's about 50 pounds worth of goodies in this box. <laughs> um, like I said, I picked up a varied amount of stuff, some new stuff to try, uh, like some makeup faves and um, yeah something for my hair. So I think I've got a decent haul. I found ordering from Revolution themselves recently has been the best way to get their products. Um, I used to get them mostly from Superdrug. Superdrug has been so hit and miss recently with um, products, which is why I haven't really done a Superdrug haul, just because it's hard work <laughs> to try and get things. That, um, a lot of stuff are only available for click and collect and my nearest store is quite far off for 
when we're supposed to be staying at home as much as we can it seems a bit frivolous so revolution if uh hit me up i've got all the stuff i need so thank you revolution um just before i sign off and go my video if you saw on tuesday was talking about the maybelline tattoo brow um peel off tint um it's been two days and they're still looking good. I haven't actually used my dip brow today. I usually use the Anastasia dip brow to fill in any bits. I haven't put any of that on today. Um, so I'm really happy. It's been two days. They say it's up to three days of wear, but I'm really happy with it. So just to let you know, I'm still happy. Anyway, guys, um, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of any of these products. If you've tried them, let me know if you want a review on any of them. Um, and yeah, that's it really. If you've enjoyed the video, then as ever, please do me a favor and hit that like button and give me a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe because I've got videos coming as often as I can. Um, there'll be a face mask Friday tomorrow. Okie dokie then guys, thank you so so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Take care guys, bye bye.